Today we'll be covering a basic startup of the Escawa G800 variable frequency drive. The G800 is an incredibly flexible drive offering numerous voltage and horsepower ratings to fit your process needs. Coupled with this flexibility in voltage and horsepower is a full range of control methods including volts per hertz, closed loop volts per hertz, open and closed loop vector control, as well as an advanced open loop vector. Today we will perform a basic startup with the volts per hertz control method. As you can see, we have a simulated digital operator keypad for a GA800 480 volt 3 horsepower VFD and an associated virtual terminal indicator panel. Please note that this is a simulated keypad that does not offer full programming functionality. However, it is identical in look and operation to a physical G800 digital operator keypad. Upon energizing the drive, we will see the model voltage horsepower and serial number screen splash, which then leads to the main operator screen. From here, we will enter the menu screen by selecting F2. Please note that while we're selecting F2 here, as, a, as menu is directly above the F2 key, there is no other correlation between F2 and menu in this instance. Upon selecting menu, we arrive at the home screen. From here, we will use the arrow keys to navigate to initial setup and press the center circle, which is the enter key on the keypad. Once language and date and time have been selected, we will navigate to the setup wizard and press enter on the keypad. We will then select yes for initializing prior to setup wizard. Now we are ready to begin initialization. We will select analog input for speed reference, zero to 10 volt input signal. And here we will press enter as the analog signal is already virtually connected. Next, select digital input for the run command source with two wire factory default control. Press enter again to advance. Select yes for an external fault contact. We will use normal duty for this example with no braking option to control an induction motor with volts per hertz control by keeping the selected control method. We will be using a ramp to stop stopping method. Our ramp to stop will use the default 10 second Excel and decel times. We will leave reverse operation enabled by selecting no. We will now scroll down to apply the parameter settings by pressing enter. And finally selecting yes to ensure that we do want the parameters to be applied. The parameters are now stored in the keypad and saved to the onboard memory of the drive. Now let's run the drive through a few paces. First, we need to give the drive a frequency reference. The drive is energized. S1 is our forward selection, so we will do that now. And we will see that the drive is spinning in the forward direction. We'll go ahead and stop the drive, and you can see that the drive is now slowing down. And we will enable reverse on the drive, and you can see the drive is now running in reverse. While running in reverse, let's go ahead and apply one of those faults that we talked about. There's an external fault applied for our S3 terminal. We're going to remove the fault. We're going to power down. We're going to S4 to clear the fault, and we're going to start the drive again. As you can see, the flexibility, range of application, and ease of startup coupled with Yaskawa's world-class reputation make the GA800 a perfect fit for many of your organization's drive needs and applications.